Hey, hey, how you doing today? I hope you're having a blessed one. In today's video, we're out here on the north side of Jacksonville and Dunn's Crossing. Uh, we're gonna be looking at the Cambridge by Dreamfinders. This home is less than $300,000. With that being said, let's take a look. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms, 1,711 square feet. This home is located on the north side, not far from NAS Jacks and Mayport military bases. We got a 30 year roof, of course, new construction, hardy board, uh, front exterior style siding. And then we have the big slabs, a hardy board running down the side. The list price for this home is $294,990. And um, the HOA does include high speed internet and the cost of the HOA in this neighborhood is $1,258 a year. Okay, so of course we have fresh sod, brand new construction, of course. We have fresh landscaping along with this new construction. Um, you can fit two cars in this driveway here. We have a two car garage. It does have a keypad to access the garage. So that's pretty cool. And um, let's go ahead and head inside. Of course, we have our doorbell and power. All right, over here is one of the bedrooms. Of course, this is your two car garage right here. Small front porch area, okay? And with that being said, let's go ahead and head on inside. So, as you walk inside, you're gonna be greeted with this beautiful ceramic tile flooring. Okay, that is an upgraded flooring from the builder. And then look at this wide open concept area. This wide open concept area is definitely lovely looking, okay? So, for your area is very wide. Let me come back here so you guys can see that. Plenty of wide on this for you. Definitely nice. Liking that already. Okay, over here we have the bedroom up front, like I was telling you guys about. We have a bathroom right here and another bedroom along with a coat closet. So, let's go ahead and check this out real quick before we head into the front area. Uh, carpet is upgraded. Uh, that's one of the things that the uh, site agent told me. Okay, we have a standard closet here. And then up top here, we have the uh, circulation valve along with your AC and heating. Okay, so that's pretty cool. That'll keep your rooms um, nice and fresh. So these are the rolled countertops we were talking about outside in the uh, bathroom, tub shower. Okay. All right, then let's check out this bedroom over here. Okay, this bedroom is a little bit cozy, standard closet. And one thing about this window is that even though there's a house outside the window, there's no window directly in view from that house. So that's pretty uh, nice when you think about privacy. So, Anyway, with that being said, let's head on into this uh, open concept area. Man, just check this out. Plenty of room. So you could put a, uh, your dining room table right here. Then you got that breakfast nook area back there for another kitchen table. You could add some bar stools here. You know, if you uh, choose to. Quartz countertops in the kitchen. Definitely a nice touch. They have sparkles in them. Not sure if the camera will pick those up, but yeah, definitely lovely. Huge center island. I'm loving the width of this center island. It's definitely long enough. If I wanted to lay straight across this way, I could go to sleep on it. <laughs> but uh, anyway, that's pretty, pretty and huge. 42 inch upper cabinets. I'm loving how they go all the way up to the ceiling. So that's pretty cool. You got the uh, microwave and the cooktop, or not the cooktop, the stove. And I like the spacing in between the stove and the microwave. So when you cook, you got plenty of room for your pots and pans, okay? Good amount of space in between the center island and the range area. You got generous amounts of storage. Okay, plenty of power outlets for all of your devices and appliances, okay? so. 
let's check out this uh, pantry area. Okay. So good amount of space in this pantry. Okay. So let me get that door closed up. And then check out this little area right here beside the fridge. So you could, you know, probably put a speaker, iPad or whatever, maybe a coffee pot right there. That's pretty cool. If you wanted to have a taller fridge, you have room up above to fit a slightly taller fridge. Okay. Laundry room area. Very spacious. Okay. So definitely have enough room to walk by or sit your laundry here as you load and unload your washer and dryer. I would definitely add some sort of storage up top. Um, I have seen other models like this where they have the uh, a storage rack up top. Okay, AC handler closet. And here's your two car garage. Okay. So of course, you know, you can fit two cars in here or use this as storage as some people do. Okay, you got your speed bump, protecting your hot water heater, electrical panel, attic access. Okay, garage door opener. You have your irrigation to maintain that brand new side. And um, that's the garage for you. Oh, and uh, you, you might see little cracks like this in a lot of new construction homes. That typically happens as the home is settling. So that should not concern you. But if it does, that is why I always recommend getting a home inspector, regardless of new construction newly renovated or whatever the case is. So this breakfast nook area is plenty of space. Just look at this. Lots of space back there. So you can fit a big table, put it long ways if you wanted to, or just do a little smaller one sideways. I like that they have windows right here, letting in natural light. So that's, that's nice, very nice. And then look at this family room area. You got all types of space up in here. I mean, you could fit, look, the cable outlet is right here. So you got all of this real estate on the wall to fit a massive TV. You can put all your, you know, your paintings, family photos, whatever you wanted to do. Okay, sliders leading out to the backyard. Always love when the sliders are off the family room. So now we're gonna come back here and check out this primary area. So you get this very tiny, you know, entryway leading into your primary. And then the primary is good and spacious back here. Okay, good and spacious. Okay, let me come back so y'all can see from this angle. So of course this leads out to the uh, family room. So now we're about to check out the primary bath. Okay, so with this builder, if you use their preferred lender, you can get up to $15,000 to assist you with the purchase of this home. So um, one thing that's really popular to do is uh, to buy down your rate. So that way your monthly payment isn't quite as high as it would be otherwise. Um, they do have several of these models available. Those rolled countertops are looking lovely. Okay. So anyway, let's keep it going. Um, so now we're about to, uh, we're about to go out back and check out this backyard area. Okay. So this is for, you know, just under 300,000. This is brand new construction and it's good and nice. Okay, this back patio area, you get a good amount of width back here. Okay. I would definitely screen this part in. That's just my personal preference. Then let's step on back here to the backyard. So we got preserve over there, but I can see through the preserve where they're constructing a new uh, home back there, or no, there is an actual home back there. It's yellow in color. Okay, we had a man-made pond over there, and um, both of the homes 
on both sides of you. They haven't even put the side down yet. OK, so here's what the back of the home looks like. This is your primary family room and then the breakfast nook off the kitchen. OK, and that's a healthy Linux unit right there. That thing is tall. All right. So this has been the Cambridge by Dream Finders on the north side of Jacksonville. OK, so what did you guys think about the Cambridge by Dream Finders out here on the north side of Jacksonville? All right. Uh, if you uh, let me know what your favorite part of this home is. OK, did you like the kitchen? Did you like the countertops? Do you like the potential fifteen thousand dollars you could get through the preferred lender if you bought this home? Anyway, I thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. Uh, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Feel free to share. And when you comment, I ask that you let me know what you did or didn't like about this house. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. Take care and be blessed.